Alright guys, so welcome back to this week's uh, video on the 30 gallon mixed reef where we do have a quite severe problem of very common cyanobacteria. So what I'm doing now is a 60% water change on the tank uh, to try and reduce my phosphates because they're, cu they're currently at 0 0.09, which is very, very high. Uh, for me, I, I usually like to run them at about 0 0.04 to 0 0.05 area. I think that's a pretty good level. And my nitrates, so I want to reduce, they're currently at 3, but I want to reduce them to about 0.5-ish, uh, maybe to 1. Uh, so this large water change will help reduce that. Uh, and then what I'm going to do after this water change is I'm going to do a 3-day blackout. So um, what I did is I, is I put a towel around the whole tank. Um, those of like bits of cardboard and that, uh, wrap it all around the tank, make sure not a speck of light uh, is getting in, into the tank uh, for 3 days, 72 hours. And then after that, I take everything off and then I do another water change uh, to try and you know, keep, get those phosphates nutrients down, uh, try and weaken the cyano a little bit. Um, last time, the first time I had cyano, I really had great success with the three day blackout. I mean, it knocked out completely and I, I didn't do any water changes, just the three day blackout, nothing, nothing else, no, no, nothing dosed into the tank. Uh, and, and that wiped out instantly, really, really good. So sometimes that can work. Uh, if I went back, if, if I could go back and uh, re, re change something, I'd probably start dosing Chemi Clean whilst I was doing this whole process as well, uh, because you'll see my results afterwards as well. Uh, it didn't wipe my cyanobacteria completely out. It got rid of about 95% of it out, uh, but there still was uh, bits of it in the sand quite a lot, and a few little specks on the on the rocks, small little uh, patches of it, a few little puddles. Uh, which I wasn't particularly happy with. I wanted to get rid of all of it. Uh, so if if I didn't do anything about it, it would probably spread. So I'm, I think I'm going to have to start dosing Chemi Clean. Uh, I've had really uh, I've heard really good things about it. It's supposed to be really good uh, clearing up the cyano. So I'm going to experience with that. Uh, I might get some of that very soon, or as soon as I can really, because it's uh, it's a problem. I want to get I want to cure as quickly as as I can. Uh, because I do want to add some more coral into this tank, and yeah, I can't really do that when there's a problem going on in the tank. I want to deal with this, and then I'll start um, going back to uh, adding livestock to the tank. All right, so this is the results after the first wa uh, water change number one, and then the three-day blackout. This is like um, just a few a few few hours after I took off uh, all the uh, sheets and cardboard all off the tank. Uh, so the corals aren't particularly out and happy. Um, they weren't massively affected, the pods were in for maybe a few hours after that, but the next day they were completely fine, you wouldn't, know, you wouldn't notice the difference, apart from the Poslopora coral, the SBS coral that I have in the bottom right corner. Uh, polyps are slightly in, I think that was slightly affected by it, uh, but they, they should come back out in the next few days, hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, I didn't do any, t uh, any, any too much harm to that. Uh, and the fish weren't massively bothered by it, obviously a little bit of shock, something a little bit different. Um, but you know, they're all fine. I still fed them whilst during the blackout. Um, so they're all fine now. Uh, so what I'm doing now is the second water change, uh, to try and get those phosphates down. Uh, and I tested after I did these water changes as well. And my phosphate level came down to 0 0.04, uh, which is a, well, actually no, 0 0.05 actually. It was, it was like zero, I think it was like 0 0.49 or something. So let's just say 0 0.05 virtually. Um, which is a perfect level. Let's hope they stay down there. I have reduced feeding uh, to twice a day and only pellets, uh, because I was doing about three times a day and most days doing meat foods as well, which which I've come completely off that now, meat foods. I'll probably go back on it um, after I've dealt with this problem just once a week, maybe a little bit of a treat for the fish, add a little bit of um, uh, weight to them. Uh, also took out all my biological media and cleaned that out. So you can see that in the bucket down on the floor there. So all out of there because there's loads of detritus. Uh, we got the siphon down there, siphoned it all out. Um, yeah, lots came out like a crazy amount of detritus. It was literally thick, thick powder. It was, it was like it was like sand, sand, brown sand, and that was all detritus. So it was really, really heavy, and that was um, that was feeding the tank of of nutrients really, um, boosting them up. I think that's what's uh, boosted up the uh, phosphate as well. Uh, way too high. Uh, so this is some footage of uh, after the whole process of me doing everything. So you can see there are a few patches. See that red patch in the, in the middle there? That sign of bacteria. You can see it in the sand. There's a little bit of red. Uh, see on the left corner, there's a little bit of red. 
So it's still kicking around. If I didn't do anything about it, it'd still kick off. So I, th I think I'm going to have to uh, try ChemiClean. Um, if not, there's loads of solutions you can do to get rid of the cyano. It might be a case of me doing war more water changes or being or them being a weekly thing to keep organics down in the tank, um, keep nutrients down in the tank. I have up my skimmer power uh, to like 60 to 70 percent um, instead of like 30 to 40 percent power. Uh, so that's boosted up to try and remove all the uh, organic waste out of the system. But I think what has massively helped is taking out all the biological media, having that all rinsed out uh, for, with RO, obviously. Uh, all that detritus um, sucked out of them, all at the bottom of the, uh, the filter box. That was a good job. It's a, it's a job that really needs doing once every six months, really, um, unless it's a really mature tank, maybe once a year. It just needs a, you know, just a blast through. Uh, depends how, cl how clean you're keeping your tank really um my pad changing well my uh i have a little uh thick maybe two inch sponge one and a half inch sponge uh that i'm taking out every other day nearly maybe once every two days i just get a jug of um rodi water uh squeeze it all out get all the uh all the yuckiness that's uh that it collects in that sponge which is quite a lot actually um so i want to catch up on uh, removing the organics out of the water because there was obviously quite a lot kicking around in there the water changes has massively helped with that um so you see the footage here really great success really got great su success with this um so i'll see you guys next week with a little bit more positivity because i know this week has been um you know very um annoying me moaning about uh cyanobacteria uh, so i will do a video maybe in in the next two or three days something a little bit more you know but i do have lots of things to do with the tank lots of jobs lots of little things um, so I guess I'll, uh, you'll see me um, in just a few days. Um, yeah, bye.